she turns it again and there's tension on the doorknob. All of a sudden, the door opens with a squatter inside of this house. <laughs> freaks her out, so... <laughs> Tell me, who are you and where are you from? Brian Bowman, big town of Welcome, North Carolina. So, uh, been there, like I said, born and raised in Davidson County. I did move off Charlotte five years, Tampa, Florida, Atlanta, Georgia, and then home is home, so I'm back in Davidson County, big town of Welcome. That's what we all do. That's right. So, how do you know everybody from Mantle? So, Mantle really, known the family forever. Uh, and I say forever, so grew up with that family. Uh, my brother, Dustin Owens, played ball growing up from next to nothing. His dad and my dad coached together coming through the ranks. So I followed their careers, both athletically, through schooling, um, and now obviously we're all in our personal life. So excited to see Mantle grow into the way they do and, and what they do for our community. So it's, it's super exciting. So I, I assume you've used Mantle really to do your closing today. Is today your first closing or your first time home buyer? Today is not my first time closing. You know, I've bought multiple properties over the years. The majority of everything I've done since I was probably 25 years old, I've done through Mantle Realty on some level, you know, especially here in the past 10 years. Dustin and I have a strong relationship, work strongly with Bonnie, his wife, to expand our portfolio. So that could be anything from personal houses, vacation homes to investment property. Uh, today, I was fortunate enough to, to buy another investment property, and Bonnie helped me through that process once again, seamless. So nothing but great things to say about the process. So you bought a couple homes with, with Mantle before. Have they all went smooth and easy to sell? Yep. So, I mean, like I said, the process. Line, son of a bitch. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the process that we've always been through is it's it works for us, right? So being able to pick up the phone, text, call, but not having to always formalize everything through a long drawn out process has worked for us. Bonnie Dustin always want to pick up the phone, give me feedback, and everything that they act on is urgent. Just my style of having a full-time job, having kids playing ball, having on the go all the time. You know, I act with urgency and their ability to act with urgency around doing these deals, whether that be showing a home, finding a home, closing a home is, is what continues to bring me back to my reality. Would you recommend Mantle or Bonnie to other people that are looking to buy? Absolutely, so? absolutely. And then the reason I say that is because of that seamless process. I tell everyone all the time, like, you have to do business with people you trust that have your best interests at hand. And for me, that's what works for us. Local to me and my family. I've known them my whole life, but I know they help people and I refer them all the time to family and friends. So if you are in the market, if you are looking, give them a little shot, they deliver. A lot of people see Mano as being misunderstood. What's your view of the way the public sees Mano versus the way that you see Mano? Well, I think there's a time and place for everything, right? So, I mean, if we can't have fun uh, in today's world, then I think we're losing a lot. You know, we can be professional, we can turn that on when the time is right. Meaning, you know, when it's time to go seek out property, put things in place, negotiate, which I, you know, I haven't talked much about the negotiation piece, but I love that part uh, of dealing with, with metal as well. Uh, there's a professional side that not everyone always sees, and that's the side I do enjoy. Although, uh, you know, we have a personal relationship as well. When it's time to work, it's time to work. And, you know, again, that's not always seen, but where it is seen is the amount of work that they do in our community, the amount of giving back that they do in our community. To me, tells a larger story than just a single transaction of a real estate agent. Take one off of not even a client testimonial. If you were a young kid coming out of college and was thinking about investing in real estate, what would you tell the old 25-year-old you whenever you first got started? What would you change? What would you do different? Well, you have to do it. People ask me all the time, well, I want to get into real estate. Well, guess what? Everybody wants to get in real estate, but they never do it. I always have analogies, which are small analogies. Numbers are numbers. You just continue to add zeros. I mean, if it works trading baseball cards, then it'll work trading houses. And lean on mentors. Lean on Dustin, Bonnie, some of these individuals there at Mail that have been in real estate forever, that have seen every kind of deal. And I also say every deal is different, but you have to get in the game. If you never get in the game, you're never going to learn the game. And there's no silver bullet. There's no cookie cutter way of doing it. But once you do do it and you start to see it pay off, there's a reason why people continue to invest over and over and over in real estate. So as a young person, I bought and flipped early, right? Then I bought and held and I bought and held and then I flipped a few more and bought and held. So you got to just continue to play the game and get in the game is what I would say. And then, like I said, you have to have a mentor on some level. And that could be a real estate agent. That could be a family member. That could be a friend just to bounce ideas off of. And nobody has the correct answer because every deal's different, like I mentioned. But at the end of the day, if you want to invest, if you're a young person, quit renting and go buy. What's the biggest horror story you've had 
As an investor, whether it's been as a landlord or in the middle of a flip or a funny story with it. Yeah, so I have been a part of the U.S. Marshals taking down some of my renters. I have been a part of any and everything that you can think about when it comes to law enforcement and renters and different things like that. So that's a given, but one of the best stories I had is, and it goes back to the investment question, right? Everybody always asks, well, I want to get into it. I want to get into it. It looks easy. Well, it is easy till it's not easy. And so my wife has watched us invest from the outside for some time, and she wanted a house of her own. So through Metal Realty, found the house, bought the house, prior to closing, sent her over to the house to go through the checklist of what all was needed prior to us being able to rent it. She gets to the house to go in the house, turns the door, the doorknob will not move. She turns it again and there's tension on the doorknob. All of a sudden, the door opens with a squatter inside of this house, <laughs> freaks her out. So you know, there went my real estate and investing partner. So ever since then, until I get it completely set up, she doesn't want anything to do with it. So again, there's so many different ways that you can invest. She's put her effort into uh, noodles and doodles and whatever That's else. right, yeah. that's right. She's a, she's a farmer. I tell people all the time I'm getting into the farm life. I'm far from a farmer, so. That's probably one of the best stories I've got. I remember calling you one time uh, because it's all in the news. It was your address. I was like, hey, man, I think your rent's going to be a little bit late because uh, one of your renters uh, was getting arrested for something pretty big. Yeah, absolutely. That happens a lot. So I've been on the ball field, been called with house fires. You know, somebody's burning. Somebody's trying to burn. I think we're calling that one, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah mine's burning up. Uh, every once in a while, you'll probably see something either myself or a property in the dispatch on some level for something that's not always positive, but it's part of the territory. I enjoy it. It's always something new. Every month is something new, right? When it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it can go really bad, but the good outweighs the bad.